This is a tutorial on how to use the Seed Spider app. When you first install the app, you'll be asked to give permission for Seed Spider to access the location. This is for data recording. Please allow this. Also, Seed Spider will ask to make and manage phone calls. Seed Spider app will never make or manage a phone call, nor will it access your contacts. This permission is required so we can get the unique device ID to help connect this device to your Green Tech account. Please allow this. You can also select for units to be in metric or imperial. This can also be changed later in the settings. I'm choosing metric. You're now ready to log in using your Green Tech Robotics account. Once you've logged in with your GreenTech account, you'll be greeted with a page that asks you to manage your drivers. These are your motor drivers. We're going to connect these motor drivers to the device. Press Manage Drivers and Scan to begin. Please be aware that all of your hopper motors or metering units will dispense seed during the setup process. So it's recommended that you take the lid and place it underneath the unit to catch any seed that may come out. This process may take up to 30 seconds. If the app did not find the correct number of motor drivers, we are using two, you can try again. Press next. You'll now be asked to pair with the motor drivers. Press OK. You can now see that our motor driver has two hoppers connected. And on the screen, you'll see two ticks for those hoppers. Ensure that the ticks match the hoppers that you have. Press next. We're now connecting to our second motor driver. Press OK. And press next to finish. We have now connected to our motor drivers. Next, we're going to create a seed profile. Press select seed. And then press the plus in the bottom right. You can manually create a seed by adding seed variety, selecting a known RPM, and pressing confirm. But it's recommended that you calibrate your seed every time. We will be going through the calibration process. Here, we'll input information about our seeder, field, and our seed. We input a variety name. I'll be using spinach. We input our thousand seed weight, or we can use seeds per weight or per grams. I'll be using TSW, thousand seed weight, which can be found on your seed bag. If we lower our germination rate, we'll increase the amount of seed dispensed. The germination rate of this particular seed is 88%. We input our sponge type, we're using sponge type 3. This is used for data recording later. We set our travel speed to the travel speed we're going to be driving down the rows. I'll be using 4 kilometers per hour, but if you chose Imperial, this will be in miles per hour. Now we can calibrate any number of hoppers at once. I'll put on screen one of the farmers uses four hoppers while driving down the row. He could, if he chose, just calibrate a single hopper. Once that calibration process is over and he starts seeding, all of the hoppers will use the correct seed rate. It's recommended that you calibrate as many hoppers are in one row, just to have an accurate result. For example, this farmer would calibrate all four of those hoppers at once, but it's up to you. 
In our example on the bench, we have three hoppers. And we're going to assume that we're calibrating three hoppers now for three hoppers down the row. We have a field here for number of rows. If you are calibrating a large number of hoppers that span multiple rows, you will need to change this value as our flow rate is calculated based on a single row. For example, if our previous farmer, instead of having one roller seeder, had three roller seeders and was calibrating for all of those hoppers at once, he would change this number to three. This farmer is only calibrating one row at a time. So we set this number to one. We set our bed width for us, that's 1200 millimeters or 1.2 meters. You may be an imperial. Lastly, we input seed per area or the weight of seed per area. For us, we're trying to target 1000 seeds per square meter. Our target flow rate for these three hoppers and for one row is 118 grams per minute. You may be an imperial. Press next. This is a step-by-step -step process to find the RPM of our metering units or hoppers that gives us the desired flow rate of seed. We will pick an arbitrary RPM, dispense seed for up to a minute, weigh that seed and put that into the app. That should calculate the correct RPM for these motors. We're going to start with 10 RPM. We will dispense seed for up to 60 seconds. You can stop any time, but we recommend at least 30 seconds for an accurate result. If the motor driver disconnects and you are unable to stop with the stop button, the app will keep trying to connect until a connection is made. Once a connection is made, if the hoppers do not stop, you can press force stop. Or in worst case scenario, you can undo this power cable to stop the hopper turning. This won't damage any of the units. You can simply wind it back in and try again. Press next. Now we weigh our seed. Just a reminder that you should zero your scales for whatever container you're holding the seed in. We dispensed 482 grams. The app has calculated that these motors should turn at 12.3 RPM. You can finish now and use this result, but in the field it's recommended to do this one more time by pressing the RPM in the screen to ensure that this is the correct RPM. You're now ready to seed. As I mentioned earlier, these motor drivers have inbuilt GPS. That's so that they can increase the speed of these hoppers when needed, such as if you are driving faster down a row or if you are turning and the outside should be dispensing faster. They require a valid GPS connection to do this. There are some fields in the world that cannot receive GPS. In these scenarios, if you want this error at the top of the screen to stop popping up, you can turn GPS off in the top right. This GPS is referring to the motor driver GPS. And that's it, we're ready to seed. To start seeding, simply press start. And press stop again to stop. It's worth mentioning that this connection will maintain in the background. If you need to answer a phone call, 
the connection to these has maintained. You can also do this while seeding, but currently, due to Android limitations, it's recommended that you keep this on screen while seeding, and do not leave the screen for more than 30 seconds. For example, you can start seeding. If you need to reply to messages or check a spreadsheet, you can minimize the app. They should continue seeding, and when you open the app, you should be able to stop again. Due to current battery saver limitations Android has implemented, it's recommended that you turn off power saver for the app or do not leave the screen for more than 30 seconds. Thank you very much.